Hey, I'm Ghazi and I make Hey everyone and welcome back. It feels so real to be back here with all of you. If you're stressed about UC and ID 2026 and just think 3 month left, I get it. I was in your shoes. But here's the thing. I didn't just survive it. I cleared UC and ID and left 2023 and I am here to tell you that these 3 months are you need to do the same. This video isn't just a strategy. It's a detailed actionable road map that powered by the exact method I used. This is your ultimate UC and ID 2026 boot camp and we will be starting right now. Before we dive into the strategies, let's talk about something critical. The UC 2026 brochure is out and registration have started. Don't let this slide. This is your first test of time management. Second, the documents. Start arranging them right now. If you are in class 12, pay special attention to the principal signature section in the appendix. Get it done now so you are not scrambling later on. All right. So what exactly do you need to study? I am going to put the key topics on the screen right now. Don't worry. You don't need to screenshot it. This entire presentation is free for you to download. Link is in the description. Join my Telegram channel. There you will get more of the resources and these PDFs as well. I'll be talking through the high priority topics line by line and let's get started. Stop everything and do these three things now. First, UC registration is live. Get it done. Second, download and read the official brochure, especially the marking schemes and syllabus as well as the appendix. Third, organize your documents. Getting stuck on a document is a silly mistake that cause a major stress before examination. If you are from any of the categories, arrange all your documents, look into it and see the validity dates and get it self attested. If you are going through with any of the documentation issues, let me know in the comment. I will help you to come out with it. This is your UC NID syllabus broken down into what to prioritize. Let's start with part A, the logical and creative mind. Logical and creative mind. First, visualization and spatial reasoning. This is about your ability to mentally manipulate objects, high priority topics like 2D and 3D transformations, think, rotations, reflections and finding the top and side views. Of course, mastering paper folding and cutting. We will dedicate a full video and a full session on this pure logic once you'll know the rules. Second, analytical and logical reasonings. This is your score booster. Focus on quickly identifying the logic in a series, analogies and classification. Don't underestimate the puzzles like sitting arrangement and blurred relations. They test structured thinking under pressure. Topic three: Observation and Design Sensitivity. This section truly tests your inner designer. Your you need to train your eyes to spot pattern, texture, and and assess composition. You see, an NID specifically look for the candidates with an eye for detail and aesthetics. Example: Elements and Principles of Design. Sitting here in the boring room. It's just another rainy Sunday afternoon. I'm wasting my time. I got nothing to do. I'm hanging around. I'm waiting for you, but nothing ever happens. And I wonder. I'm driving around in my car. I'm driving too fast. I'm driving too far. I'd like to general knowledge. Don't waste time on random history. We prioritize design history, famous Indian and global designers, and recent innovation in design and technologies. Context that matters exactly. Basic science and fun fact is also a game changer. You can go through with all of these topics to strong your GK. Topic five: language and comprehension section is often about understanding instructions actually. while vocabulary is useful the main test is your ability to interpret complex problem statement and your grammar because 
all the things in the UCD examination is about word problem and understanding words means you need to understand the vocabulary. Let's talk about mathematics and quantitative aptitude. For many of you, this is a section you can absolutely crush. Unlike general knowledge, the math syllabus is finite and highly predictable. It's not advanced calculus. It's about speed, efficiency, and at least class 10 level arithmetic and geometry. You can easily practice these sort of things to have a good marks in maths and quantitative aptitude. Your time is short. So we target high frequency areas first, master the fundamentals, ratio proportions and simplification. Are the, these are the building blocks of your several quotient types. Then move to the time, speed and distance and time and work as well. These are the staple topics of NET questions. Learn from the formulas, but more importantly, learn to use shortcuts, which you will create. Next, geometry and mensuration. You must have a strong grip on areas, perimeter and volume of basic shapes like cube, cylinder and spheres. You seed loves to ask question that requires visualizing how these changes when an object is cut or combined. For example, calculating a new water level when an object is submerged or the area of a shaded region. These are the frequently asked question in the U seed exams. Here's the key, time saver, what to skip and what to not. Don't waste your time on complex algebraic identities or overly advanced trigonometry. Focus on simple patterns and equation found in basic algebra. Your goal isn't to be mathematical genius. It's a swift. Make proper and accurate calculation. Simplify faster within the context of design aptitude and time. The math section test speed under pressure. Your practice must be timed. Use R. Sigarwal class 10 NCRT or similar guide for daily drills or use big book of brain games for advanced problem solving. If you don't have the link for these particular PDFs, join our telegram channel. There you will find a PDF of these books. I cleared UC 2023 by ensuring my basic maths and speed was fast. Practice more and convert concepts into quick formulas. Part B isn't just about how well you draw. It's about how well you think on your feet. You need to tell a story with your pencil. We will be doing dedicated session on how to tackle these creative prompts in the upcoming bootcamp series. Now for part B, creative ability. This is where your three month of dedicated sketching practice pays off. We are focusing on two main areas. First, technical drawing. You must practice line drawing, master perspective that is one point, two point or sometimes three point as well if possible and object drawing specifically sketching everyday items with correct proportion, light and shadow. These are the tools for your wars. Second and most critical creative problem solving. You see it wants designers, not just artists. Practice creative problem statement, redesigning product and storyboard, sequential sketches. You must convey a story or a solution with clarity. This is where you will make the difference. Now, how do we fit all of these into three months? Here is the rough schedule that worked for me and can work for you too. It's an intense 90 day plan that is month one October. Focus on building the basics. Focus on 50-50% of part A and part B. Hit those high priority topics that is hard and introduce yourself to sketching daily. Then in month two, that is November, this is integration of refinement. Shift to both again, part A and part B. Proper time for both the section equal. Finish remaining topics and start taking your first full length mock test. Build the three hour stamina. Now coming to month three, that is December. This is the final push. Mock and PYQ mastery. Don't feel learning anything. Solidify what you know. Solve as many as previous year questions as you as much possible. Don't just solve it, but try to follow or try to understand the logic and the concept behind it. Let behind each question of part A and part B go with mental reviews and finalize your style, ideas and skill. This is where you'll gain the edge and this is which will give you more marks and ranks in the examination.
to make sure we hit every one of these high priority topics your comment is critical our first uc day nid boot camp series start next so comment now and tell me which of these seven part a topics or specific part b topics we should start first and here's the most important part of this entire plan this whole series is powered by divergent classes now that doesn't mean we are only going to talk about divergent thinking it means we are using the structured focus approach that got me and my student through the examinations we taught not just what to study but how to think like a designer to break down complex problem and find creative solutions that's the u seed difference if you are looking for a full fledged comprehensive course where mentors from it nid and nft will teach you and of course me to go and check out i have put the link of divergent website in the description for you so what next this video is just the beginning i am launching our second free u seed nid bootcamp series from the next week and the first video will be on the topic which you choose comment down your biggest challenge right now of part a or part b and your comment will decide our first deep dive session i am back and i am here to help you to get through this if you are ready to turn these next 3 months into success story make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell let's start this journey together go download the presentation pdf from the telegram up link in the description get registered and i'll see you in the first boot camp session very soon meanwhile keep practicing keep sketching and keep learning see you in the next video bye bye